Today, let's tackle an interesting algebra problem that challenges our problem-solving skills. Our goal is to find the value of x that satisfies x squared minus x cubed equals 12. Can you solve it? Okay. As the very first step, if you observe it closely, you can see that 12 can be written as 8 plus 4. And what is 8? It can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 cubed, right? And also, 4 is 2 times 2, or 2 squared. So, this 12 can be written as 2 squared plus 2 cubed. But we need a minus sign here, and not plus. So, if you think a little bit, we can rewrite this 4 as negative 2 times negative 2, where both these minus sign cancels out, and we get 4. So, negative 2 whole square equals 4. Also, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 equals, this will be 4, and 4 times negative 2 equals negative 8. So negative 2 whole cube equals negative 8. So this negative 2 whole square minus of negative 2 cube becomes 4 minus of negative 8 or plus 8, which is 12. So replace this 4 plus 8 with this thing. Excellent. Thus, it is clear that one of the answers to this question will be minus 2. Now, in order to find the other two roots, we will factorize this equation. For that, first take this 12 on the left-hand side and rearrange this equation to make it minus of x cubed plus x squared minus 12 equals 0. Or multiply both sides by minus 1 to get x cubed minus x squared plus 12 equals 0. Now, because one of the root is negative 2, and thus we will factorize it using x plus 2. To do that, we can write minus x squared as 2x squared minus 3x squared because 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So, rewrite this as x cubed plus 2 times x squared minus 3 times x squared plus 12 equals 0. Now take x squared as common from this to get x squared times this will become x plus 2, and from the next part, take minus 3 as common to get minus 3 times x squared minus 4. Next, this x squared minus 4 can be written as x squared minus 2 squared, which is of the form a squared minus b squared, which is equal to a plus b times a minus b, and hence it can be written as x minus 2 times x plus 2. So far, so good. So take x plus 2 as common from both of them to get x plus 2 times the expression x squared minus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0. Or x plus 2 times x squared minus 3 times x plus 6 equals 0. Then this will give one of the root as x equals minus 2. And for this quadratic part, I will not bore you by solving the quadratic equation. We can simply use this quadratic formula. But just let me show you one thing, that the part under the square root, or b square minus 4ac, is negative, which means the roots are not real, or we can say complex in nature. We get x equals 3 plus or minus the i times the square root of 15 upon 2. See this i part. That means we have a complex root where i equals square root of negative 1. That was amazing, wasn't it? Now let me know in the comments all three values of x for this equation. So good!